Today we're over here in Clarksville, Tennessee. Historic, beautiful town. Home of some very famous people. Let's go check it out and find out who all those historic people were. Spencer Sutton, Sergeant Carter. Who doesn't remember this feller from Gomer Pile? With his famous line, move it, move it, move it, move it. Hmm. He was born and raised here in Clarksville, Tennessee. He also served in World War II. His family moved to Nashville, Tennessee when he was eight years old. After high school, he came back to Clarksville, Tennessee and worked at a radio station until he went on to college in New York to become a famous actor. One of the famous people from Clarksville, Tennessee. Oh, mercy. Move it, move it, move it. Gomer! Gomer! Clarksville, Tennessee is home to a bunch of famous people and a beautiful historic town. It is a beautiful area for to come and visit. So take your time. Come check them out. Come check this beautiful town out. Sergeant Carter said so. Or you better move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Go on there. We can go find some more famous people that was born and raised here in Clarksville, Tennessee. Well, we're here out discovering more famous people that had a connection was either raised or buried or had some kind of connection to Clarksville, Tennessee.
Lonnie Melvin Tellis. Some of you might remember him as Mel Tellis. When he talked, he stuttered, but when he could, he could sing, oh, he can sing. He was actually very, um, passed away, excuse me, passed away in Florida, but his sister brought him up here to where she was at in Clarksville, Tennessee. When he was a young child, he had a bout with malaria, and that's what caused the stuttering. But he overcame that and became a famous country music singer. Buried here in Clarksville, Tennessee. Right next to his mom and other family members. He had a beautiful singing voice and had so many famous country music songs. He was one of my dad's favorite and uh, my dad just couldn't get enough to listen to his country music. I bet you also didn't know that Clarksville, Tennessee also had another famous country music singer, Roy Acuff. He actually wasn't born in Tennessee, Clarksville, Tennessee, but he had a connection with it. In 1940s, he purchased Dunbar Cave and gave country music concerts in the cave because of the climate it was so cool in the summertime. He did that for years until it was later on sold. Along with that Dunbar Cave, he also built an 18-hole golf course. How many knew that? These are the fun facts, historical facts you will find. If you just take the time and learn a little bit about a state or an area you're in, hit that Google. Google can be your best friend and find out all these things. After talking with my husband's aunt and uncle here, they told us all these famous people and all the connections they had. So we started doing our research and found them. You never know what you can find if you just take the time. So just take the time and find something in your area, in your state. Leave it in the comments. What famous person or famous person has a connection with your town, your state? I'd be anxious to hear. It's all about just getting out, enjoying life, and the simple things, and discovering the simple things. Like the barn on my dad's farm is over 150 years old. I didn't know that until I started talking to my father. So, you never know what you can find or what you can discover. If you just take the time and relax. And that's what my channel is all about. Discovering things, relaxing, and having fun. So get out and enjoy life. And have some fun. Me and Miss Abby. We'll see you on the road. And if you see sunset and sunrise, wave at us that horn and let him know let us know that you saw us until the next video just always remember your next dream your next adventure is just over the horizon so let's get out and enjoy life and appreciate those simple things because today's not promised and tomorrow's not promised for me and Miss Abby we love you See you later. Tell them we'll see them later. You're off to discover something else, aren't you? Where are you going to next? Hmm? What are you going to find? Where are you going? Don't leave me behind. 
don't want to go with you. Can I go with you? Okay. He was also a Vietnam veteran. One of our soldiers that fought for us. Thank you for your service. And thank all soldiers for their service. For one for them, we wouldn't have the freedom we have today.